Hello everybody, uh, this video is going to show you how to get your HDMI audio with your game capture card on your uh, computer working and so you don't need to use all that stupid analog or third-party programs. Now, quickly, the reason I believe it's not working, uh, when you are using a wired he headset specifically, uh, when you plug in a wired headset, your computer automatically uh, diverts all the audio that you are hearing to the headset rather than through your computer speakers. Now, what that means is that if you're trying to use HDMI audio, it's actually not hearing anything. Now, if you've ever had your audio plugged into your monitor, say your monitor has speakers already, so you plug your HDMI into your audio, the minute you put that headset in, your HDMI, uh, the audio off your monitor stops, and you hear it through your headphones. Unless you're using an Xbox and you turn up the TV on. Yeah, anyway. For computer, it doesn't work both ways. Most of the time, sometimes it does. Whatever. Now... <clears throat> the way to get it to work is you need to use something called Stereo Mix to get your Elgato HDMI listening to the headset audio. So on Windows 10, you do not have it installed naturally. Uh, it by default, it's not installed on Windows 10. Windows 7, Windows 8 it is. So if you have Windows 7 or Windows 8 and you're watching this video, just skip to the end. The process to uh, getting your audio to work on your Elgato is the exact same. So... <clears throat> Windows 10, we're going to check if we have Stereo Mix. I will have it, but follow along so you know if you do or not. You're going to hit right-click on the speaker down here. You're going to hit Recording Devices. You're going to right-click Show Disabled Devices. You're going to click that so it's checkmarked. Now, you may not have Stereo Mix at all, which was my case, or in some other people's cases, you may have Stereo Mix, but you cannot enable it. That means that it's not installed on your computer. So what you got to do, open up the Internet, wait 10 hours for it to load because I don't clear my history or my cookies or temp internet files enough. Anyway, you're going to go to realtech.com and once that opens, you're going to click the download button. Once that opens, you're going to hit high definition audio codecs. Now before I go any, f uh, <clears throat> any farther, I need you guys to know that this is a default driver on Windows 7 and Windows 8. It is not a third par party program. It is not Audacity. I'm not getting you to buy extra parts like you would with analog audio. This is just a driver that for whatever reason Windows 10 does not have. Anyway, click that driver, the audio codec. You're gonna hit I accept, you're gonna hit next. And right here, 64 bits, 32 bits. Uh, depending on which one you have, I have a 64 bit computer, I would click this button to install it. If you have a 32 bit system, you're gonna hit this button. On Windows 10, I don't know if I have 32 or 64 bits. Well, you're going to right-click this window button. You're going to click System. I'm not going to do it because I don't need to show you guys my Windows key, and I'm, I, I, I hate editing videos. Anyway, once that opens, there will be a System Type. It'll say System Type, and then before, beside it, it'll say 64-bit or 32-bit. There you go. Now you know which one you have. If it says 32-bit, you have 32. If it says 64-bit, you have 64. Anyway, sorry if I'm talking really fast. Just trying to get that crap out of the way. Once you've hit this button, you're going to install it, you're going to extract it, but before you restart your computer, just watch the rest of this video. Because you have to restart your computer in order for the driver to install fully. Anyway, that's done. Right click on the uh, speaker again, recording devices, make sure you're in the recordings tab, show disabled devices. Now once stereo, you'll see stereo mix here, you are going to enable it, and then you are going to make sure that your microphone is still default communications device. In Stereo Mix, you're going to uh, set it as default device, so it's just going to say default device. Right click, right click Stereo Mix again, hit properties, hit listen, hit listen to this device, make sure that box is checked, and then play back through this device, you're going to click Elgato. So now what's happening is your computer is now listening to what's going on in your headset, and then transferring that, uh, we'll call it music, or that sound, back through uh, the HDMI to the Elgato, like it should be doing in the first place. Now you're going to hit OK. OK. Perfect. Now, just to test it out, first off, I'm going to open this. Oh, damn it. This. So you can see that my HDMI audio is right here. I'm going to open up the internet. Now you know I'm not doing any funny business, because I hate editing videos and all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to hit this one. <coughs> so now you can see how you can hear it. So I hope this video helped. Like, comment, subscribe. Sorry it was so long-winded. Uh, if you have any questions, comment and I will get back to you.